Hello, Principal Skinner. How are you today? I'm doing well, thank you for asking. Would you like to come in? Sure, I would love to see your home. Thank you. Let me get you a drink first. That sounds nice. What do you have? What do you have? I have a delicious hydrolysis in the oven. It's one of my specialities. Oh, that sounds interesting. I've never heard of hydrolysis before. It's a type of chemical reaction. I'm proud to say I make it from scratch. Well, that must be some recipe. Can you teach me how to make it? I'd love to. Maybe next time you can come over for dinner and we can try it together. Smiling? Thank you for having me, Principal Skinner. What the hell? My hydrolysis is burnt. Why did I let this happen? This is unacceptable. All right, time to think of a solution. Let's see. I could try to salvage what's left and start over, or I could just toss the whole thing and start again from scratch. Um, uh... No, neither of those options appeal to me. How about we try something completely different? Like what? I don't know yet, but I'll figure it out. This is ridiculous. I need to come up with a plan, and fast. Calm down, Skinner. Take a deep breath. All right, let's break this down. What resources do we have? What can we do differently? And most importantly, what can we learn from this mistake? I have found the inspiration to replace the burnt hydrolysis. I will climb out the window to buy this substitute. I need to obtain this ingredient and climb back in through the window. The new dish is called gungood, a delicious Korean stew made with beef, vegetables, and spices. It's a perfect replacement for burnt hydrolysis. I will purchase the ingredients needed to make this dish and climb back in through the window. This will be my secret recipe that no one will ever know about. I can't wait to taste this new dish and see the reactions of those who try it. This will be my little secret that I will keep hidden away. Yes, this is a perfect plan. No one will ever know about it except for me. What are you talking about, Skinner? That's not steam. That's smoke. Trust me, Chalmers. I'm making a steamed version of hydrolysis. The smoke you're seeing is just steam. Steam. Skinner. That doesn't make any sense. You know, I've seen your experiments before, and that's not what steam looks like. I swear it's true. Just give me a chance to explain. I don't know, Skinner. Your stories have always been a bit tall, even for me. Please, Chalmers. I need your help on this one. It's important, my research, and I can't afford any setbacks. It's all right, Skinner. Explain it to me. But make it quick, because that smoke is starting to get thick in here. Thank you, Chalmers. I promise this will be worth your while. This meal doesn't look right. What do you mean? It just seems off. I can't quite put my finger on it. Well, it looks fine to me. Are you sure something's wrong with it? I'm not sure, but something just doesn't feel right. All right, well, if you're not sure, then I guess we'll just have to move on. Wait, I need to check this out. Excuse me for a moment. What are you doing? I'm going to take a closer look at the food. That's fine, just be careful. What the hell here? Look at that fire in the kitchen. Calm down, Chalmers. 
It's just some quite irascible, defractable cheese balls. Cheese balls. Are you serious? How could cheese balls happen in the kitchen? I don't know, man. Maybe you did it while trying to make a snack. You really expect me to believe that? We both know better. I notice the house burning, but you keep pretending it's some quite irascible, defractable cheese balls and explain it away as such, making up any excuse you could think of. Yeah, I guess it's a bit strange. But, but hey, let's not dwell on that. Let's talk about something else. Like what? Like how we both suspect each other of being the thing instead? Yeah, I guess that's true. Thanks for lunch, Skinner. No problem, Chalmers. Goodbye.